Have you ever wondered how filmmakers create realistic water simulations such as crashing waves, splashing water, or underwater environments? Because water can be a visually captivating element on the screen. You might have heard of a common saying that filmmakers traditionally avoid working with three things children, animals, and water. And all of these elements are extremely difficult to control. However, progress in CGI made it possible to control and add waves using different sorts of visual effects. And this is the case because we have amazing 3D software that can do the job. If we go back to the time of analog films, underwater scenes in films were created using a technique known as dry to wet. This technique involved the use of painted backdrops, smoke, color filters, and lighting effects to simulate the appearance of being underwater while filming on a dry stage. And effects such as fans and slow motion could be used to make hair and clothing appear to flow in the current. Generally speaking, water scenes were typically filmed in a massive studio tank surrounded by green screens, and fluid simulations in the 1950s and 60s were mathematically created, but the technology of the era could only simulate water and not other fluids, which as you might expect was very limiting, and filmmakers still relied heavily on practical effects till the 90s. Practical effects, such as spraying water towards the camera, were commonly used to achieve the appearance of water splashing, and over time, the look of water splashing, I mean towards the lenses, was enhanced or entirely created in post-production using CGI to prevent damage in traditional lenses and cameras. CGI of this time allowed for the creation of realistic water simulations, including crashing waves, splashing water, and underwater environments. Underwater scenes are very difficult to shoot due to the challenging conditions that require the cast and the crew to rethink nearly every aspect of filming. While shooting in the open ocean provides the most realism and production have little to control over water conditions and safety. As Catherine Bigelow said, navigating the waters of filmmaking is an adventure in itself, requiring meticulous planning, innovative techniques, and a readiness to embrace the unpredictable nature of this dynamic element. Recreating physical phenomena with CGI, like the movement of objects through water and how light behaves underwater, are complex and limited by the computational power available. And as time went on, these worries started fading away thanks to the new tech and VFX. So VFX were to allow water to be seen as a character in the story rather than just a backdrop, and filmmakers could perfect the look and feel of the water to make it belong in the mood of the film. Techniques like fluid simulations and blending methods are seamlessly used to integrate water into scenes, ensuring its movement and interactions feel natural. And artists can pay attention to details while simulating to achieve lifelike behaviors such as natural breaks in water and the formation of walls of water. And they can use special 3D materials to create detailed textures and effects to make the water seem lifelike. Think of movies like Moana and Aquaman. The water in these films are so realistic and you might feel like you could reach out to touch it. Water simulation frameworks can be found in many 3D software. They are like a toolbox full of different solvers, each made to handle a specific type of water. They make sure that the water interacts with the characters in a realistic way, like how water splashes and bubbles in real life. And the simulations can be super detailed, so you can see things like tiny ripples on the surface or big waves crashing. And they can also show how underwater bubbles transform into foam. And with the advancements in recent years, we are getting very close to having VFX water, I mean water simulations, that are impossible to differentiate from real water. And I would say the closest thing we have seen so far, I mean in terms of realism, is the water effects in Avatar The Way of the Water. Even with the computational power and software development, today it is entirely possible to create realistic water simulations for movies. However, it can get very slow and difficult. Modern water simulations often rely on a combination of particle-based and grid-based methods. Particle-based methods, such as smooth particle hydrodynamics, treat the fluid as a collection of particles, which is great for detailed and flexible simulations. 
On the other hand, grid-based methods like the Navier-Stokes equations are used to simulate fluid dynamics on a grid and they are excellent for capturing large-scale behaviors like ocean waves. So let's explore some software and movie examples to make these concepts easier to understand. Most water simulations seen in movies these days are created using Houdini, which has a robust set of tools for creating several fluid phenomena like ocean waves, splashes, white water, etc., which are based on a clever mix between particles and surfaces. Fluid solvers found in Houdini and other 3D software use particles to replicate complex behaviors of fluids such as buoyancy, surface tension, and viscosity. It uses a combination of particles and voxels to simulate fluids, which allows for a high level of detail and realism. On the other hand, the flip solver in Houdini is particularly effective for simulating large bodies of water and splashes. Houdini also supports tools like Pyro Effects, which can be used for creating mist and spray, enhancing the realism of water effects, and the software Ocean Effects Toolkit allows you as an artist to generate vast ocean of services, complete with waves and white caps, which provides a realistic backdrop for scenes set for example in the sea or an ocean. In simple terms, the easiest way to understand particle simulations is to think of each particle as a single fluid molecule and a solver controls how these molecules interact with each other in different conditions. And I think the most realistic results in CGI are achieved when it mimics real life from the bottom up. And the final step in creating realistic water is rendering. Physically based rendering techniques are used to accurately simulate how light interacts with water. This includes effects like refraction, reflection, and caustics, which are the light patterns created by water. And generally speaking, the most realistic CGI water shots in movies have a lot of similarities to real water. I mean from a physics standpoint, which is what makes them look believable and beautiful. You might remember Interstellar's water planet, with waves as high as mountains, and the creation of the water planet scene involved complex fluid simulations to depict these massive waves. Most impressively, the team at Water Effects developed most of these techniques to bring Avatar the way of the water to life. Visual effects artists, I believe, leverage AI and extensive reference footage of natural water movements to create realistic water simulations and push the boundaries of what was possible in underwater filming as we have seen. And from what I can see, water simulations are just gonna keep getting better in the future, with more realistic water facts and fascinating processing times, in terms of creating and simulating bubbles, foam, dynamic lighting, and other things that can make water scenes look much better and more believable. And if you stop and think about it, it is quite fascinating to see how something that might look so seemingly simple but can require a huge amount of time and teamwork and passion to create it. And from what we have highlighted in this video, water in movies has evolved from painted backdrops to complex fluid simulations, transforming the way filmmakers depict this challenging element. And today, water can be created and controlled digitally with stunning realism, thanks to advanced VFX techniques. And this evolution has not only enhanced the visual appeal of the films, but also opened new possibilities. And I think in the future, it is gonna be even better. And there you have it guys, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up, also please subscribe to the channel to receive more videos like this, thank you guys very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.